Hey everyone, welcome back and thank you for joining us again here at AWS reInvent 2024. We are still live on the expo floor, as you can see over my shoulder, we got a lot of cool stuff going on. Great energy, great vibe. My name is Adrian San Miguel. I'm a principal partner enterprise architect here at AWS, and I'm joined by someone I've been working a lot with lately. Say hey, Robbie, what's going on? <laughs> hey, Adrian, and hey folks, happy reInvent. My name is Robbie Belson, senior developer advocate here, focused on our hybrid and edge services. And it only feels fitting if you introduce our guest, Adrian. Yeah, it does. So long story story short, uh, earlier, I guess in my career, um, I got the privilege of working with strategic partnerships uh, here at AWS, where I met Travis. Uh, he is the CTO over at Innovative Solutions, but I, I would be remiss if I didn't didn't say that early on in the career uh, or in the engagement, we had a conversation about art of the possible, and I kind of almost dismissingly said, yeah, it sounds good, but I want you to go and prove it because I'm a bit of a skeptic and stuff. So Travis, I'd like to hand it over to you. Uh, please introduce yourself and let us know what you went in and built and sure. uh, what's growing for you. Yeah, Adrian, Robbie, nice seeing you all again. Mm -hmm. Hi everybody, I'm Travis Rail, the CTO of Innovative Solutions. We're a AWS premier tier partner. And quite frankly, our origin story in the world of generative AI came from luck, quite honestly. <laughs> About two years ago, two and a half years ago, we took a chance on Anthropic. And over time, as Amazon invested in their solution, so did we. And we've grown now to hundreds of customers deployed on Amazon Bedrock and SageMaker. Mm -hmm. We have many different types of deployments from typical LM use cases all the way to complex multi-agent solutions. Okay. And today I'll be demoing and showing our platform Tailwinds that can help you uh, deploy that type of problem much quickly than you probably could yourself. Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, the bulk of a lot of what we spend a lot of time working together is identifying those use cases and finding the problems to go out and solve instead of trying to do um, what many shops are want to do in finding solutions and just try to go figure out where it can map up. You guys took a very different departure from that, Travis. It's something that I think was pretty be befitting to you and so much so as to being on the bleeding edge. I understand you might have done a little trickery this morning as you were sitting in the keynote room. Yeah, when uh, Nova, Amazon Nova got announced, I immediately Looked, looked to our dev team and said, we have to support Nova immediately. Like for this discussion. Like 30 minutes ago? Oh my God, yes. So and it is working and I'm happy to show it to you. So we're demoing it today. Today. Okay. And it was announced today. An hour ago at best. Okay. Yeah, so it's very excited to show off. Well, let's zoom out for a second. Tell us a little bit more about Tailwinds as a whole. Sure, yeah, so uh, we, look, as an SI, we meet lots of customers in different sort of stages of their sort of Gen AI journey. And we found sort of a common problem we kept recreating the same types of agents, the same types of inter, uh, interactions and interfaces for our customers. We said, there's got to be a better, easier, faster way to solve this problem. Yeah. And so Tailwinds is a, our SaaS platform. It enables users to drag and drop their way to creating not just A agents, but multiple AI agents that can work together to solve a problem. It comes fully baked with an API. It can integrate back into your platform, and it leverages and uses Amazon Bedrock right inside your AWS account. I like how you called out uh, single versus multimodal agents. Chat, if you're you're out there and you're experimenting, let us know if you're using single or multi-agent flows, uh, because Travis is about to show us something pretty interesting in this demo, if you're ready to jump into it. I'm always ready. All right, let's do it. So what you see in front of you now is our tail one's interface, uh, and we have two really modes of interacting with, with agents. We have chat flows and agent flows. Chat flows are considered, say, a singular agent, and agent flows are multiple agents. I'll, I'll show off chat flows today. Okay. And so I'm going to show you first, I'm going to go right to uh, an agent that can inter interact with the internet. Okay. And so what you have here is our Tailwinds Canvas. It is a drag and drop interface where you can add different nodes, different agents, different tools. We have mm -hmm. dozens of pre-built agents, so you don't have to go figure it out yourself. Cool. Do you think we could uh, zoom in a little bit on yeah. that? Sure. Get a little bit more. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So what you see here in front of you is a conversational agent, So because we want to have a conversation around a piece of okay. content. And we're connected to an Amazon Bedrock account. Uh, we're using uh, Sonnet 3.5. Okay. Uh, and then lastly, we have a tool connected to this agent. We have many pre-built tools, and today we're using Exasearch, which is effectively Google Search. Okay. And we're going to ask the agent something complicated. We're going to say, uh, who won the Super Bowl in 2023? And what this is going to do is it's going to go on the internet. It's okay. going to first research the topic, it's going to come back, and then once it's researched it, it's going to then finally answer the question. Okay. 
This is a simplified use case. You can build this in less than five minutes, quite frankly. Okay. Um, but we have customers who are integrating this with internal data systems that are doing multiple different agents hitting different data sources, interacting with APIs to perform a task and solve a problem. Awesome. You know, it, it's kind of interesting. You, you mentioned you know a pretty rudimentary use case, and it, it is. But what's interesting, we talked about it yesterday with Nestle Purina about what they were doing um, to go out and simplify pet adoptions. And, you know, we like to say a lot of times you sometimes have to eat your own dog food. But very be very interested to, for you to share with the group, what is it that Innovative Solutions is doing with Tailwinds internally and how has that been beneficial to you? Yeah, so we're very much tinkerers ourselves mm -hmm. and uh, internally we have over 70, 70 agents deployed in production okay. doing different types of tasks within our business, whether that's creating contracts for us, making PowerPoint presentations for us, analyzing different um, transcriptions and more to figure out customer sentiment and CSAT. Okay. Uh, and so this is an active uh, solution in the business that almost all roles in the company have access to today. And it's been a transformational sort of experience for us uh, because it's it's true value, quite frankly, when you target a use case that's, that's specific and sort of close to your problem in your organization. And then speaking of industry specificity, a little humble brag on your behalf, <laughs> I found that uh, you were recently announced as one of our AWS game changers on our partner resources page. And you're yeah. telling me that you were able to detect lung disease through AI powered breath anal analysis. How does that work? Yeah, so we, we partnered with a company called Health Metrics. Okay. And they provide a device called the Clarinet, and it's effectively a, a breathalyzer. Okay. Where you, can, uh, you breathe into a device, and it's an IoT device, uh, and then it streams O2 stats and more. Uh, to a data lake, and then that gets processed of a collection of different ML models as well as Amazon Bedrock. Okay. That information is given to scientists, um, you know, different gov government ent entities, and more to figure out, hey, are different populations behaving in different ways? Wow, and it just stems from a simple clarinet. I, in my head, I imagine the wind instrument with the reed and just like blowing into it instead of just. You know, as, as a childhood asthmatic, asthmatic, you breathe into the thing, you see ball go up, the ball no go up, oxygen count is low. But that's taking it to multiple orders of magnitude and complexity. That's, that is going to be life-changing, life-impacting for somebody down the road. You know, yeah. Being able to early spot that by just taking a 10-second breath and just letting the machine go and make informed decisions to help guide the practitioner to a diagnosis. Yeah, I'll tell you, one of the, the funnest things about right now in the industry Okay. There is no place on Google to go find a solution to a problem. There's no GitHub repository that has the answer. Okay. These are novel problems and require novel solutions. And okay. as a result, like you get to really try new things you may not have considered in the past. So in the spirit of novel solutions, if we go back to the demo here, I think one yeah. thing that's so compelling is, is this is a low-code environment. So you don't yeah. need to be a programmer to interact with these fundamentally uh, complex multi-agent systems. But it sounds like you, you can take that low-code environment or you can export it as code. Can you can you show us what that looks like? Yeah, so uh, I'll give you a different example here. So this is actually using the new Nova model that was just announced okay. an hour ago. Uh, I'm going to try it, and I, all things tried live. Uh, <laughs> you didn't knock, you didn't make a blood sacrifice, you didn't ask for, for guidance, and it's yeah, Look how fast that thing is, man. Oh, my <laughs> God. Uh, I've been very impressed in the last hour of how effective it has been as a model. Um, but to your point about how do you integrate this into your system, so yeah. you have a button in the top right corner you can go to and provides you an out-of-the-box API endpoint that you can hit to go and interact with fewer systems. Get out. This, this is, I mean, the last time you showed me this, Travis, it was very, very impressive, but this is just taking on that and building and building and building further onto it. I mean, I, I know the answer to this selfishly because I was assigned to you as your uh, enterprise architect, but for the benefit of chat and anybody interested in partnering deeper with us, can you speak to the value of partnering with AWS to go through and um, you know either get the investment or the co-building, the guidance? Uh, what was that like for you? Yeah, so quite honestly, many of the, many of the organizations we meet, they don't know where to start. They okay. have this like great idea. They don't know what's going to take. They don't know all the build the building blocks and pieces. And so with partners like us, we we've had the scars already. We've been at it for two years. Uh, we know what works, what doesn't. We know what patterns work consistently. Mm -hmm. And working with the Amazon Partner Network, uh, Amazon gives us the ability and flexibility to try new things with you. Uh, and so if you have an idea that you want to experiment, we're happy to help facilitate that, and Amazon will help participate. One of the areas we certainly see a lot of experimentation is, of course, around RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation. Mm -hmm. You can do things like domain uh, adaptation with company-specific data through the Tailwinds platform, right? Yeah, yeah. You, you can interact with uh, Amazon knowledge bases, um, as well as other different data sources, whether it's SQL databases or API endpoints and more. Um, more importantly is you can customize these agents and these workflows to really be 
unique and specific to what drives value for you. And you can do that really fast. And if you need help as well, we have a team of experts who can come in and swoop in and build a bunch of stuff for you as well. Really? The, so one of the things that um, a lot of folks have been wondering about is how do they go, best go about and get started? Uh, you may mention there's access to experts. I know that you know, obviously you can draw on somebody like me or somebody like your partner manager, partner SA, your partner sales manager, et cetera. But if I'm a customer, well, just wanting you to get started and engage with you, how do I go about doing that? Yeah, so uh, there's a few ways you can do it. You can go to innovativesol.com. Mm -hmm. There's a contact us button there. Uh, and that will reach our, our team. You can hit me up on LinkedIn at, um, at Travis Rail. You'll we'll find my, my pretty face there, it's pretty easy. <laughs> I'm happy to take some questions and I'll, I'll follow up. Uh, we also have, if you're interested in our Tailwinds uh, platform, if you go to tailwindsai.com, mm -hmm. uh, you'll find our, our website, describes the product, the solutions, all mm -hmm. the different features that come with it, as well as a contact us as well, uh, button there as well. Awesome, awesome. We do have a little bit of extra time uh, coming into the end, end of the session. Chat, if there's anything that you want to see us throw at this model to try to break it live, <laughs> I, wel I welcome the challenge. I, I would love to see, oops, see what the uh, the Tailwinds platform happens. And if you don't offer something, I, I'm going to throw a curveball. Hit me. I need to know over the last three years the OPS and slugging percentage leaders for the American League of Baseball. Kill me here. All right, we'll try it. <laughs> And I say that as a, a sports junkie, a stats junkie, and you know, trying to reinforce to my son uh, who's playing t-ball that it doesn't matter where you are in the in the lineup as long as you're contributing and moving uh, the players along. It's higher than a better batting average. It's going be in baseball. I, yep. Okay. I hope I got that right. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's close. That's close enough that we can just dive deeper into it. Yeah. So one of the things that is really interesting to us uh, and we found uh, over the last year and a half is the best value a business could have is actually less so on building chatbots and more so about integrating these workflows and agents into your business process. Uh, oftentimes, we meet customers who are trying to push their team to use a different interface, and that's different than their workflow and how they mm -hmm. work uh, on the day-to-day. -day. Uh, instead, what we can do is we can augment existing processes of agents, then maybe that maybe there's a step in the process you'd have to say, do I want to do something or not? You can have an agent go perform that piece of that step. And you can add and add and add. You can quickly find value about changing someone's day-to-day. -day. Yeah, and I like really like the way that you enunciate it and being very clear, especially uh, essays and myself at times, I, I can be very guilty to want to overemphasize that the Gen AI thing is the solution. You were very, very deliberate to say it is a part of the solution. Yes. It is a bolt-on, add-on, flexible, yes. to so that you don't have to go and reinvent the wheel to teach your people how to use these things. Use them to incorporate and be that helper to get your do job done faster, smarter, um, and more efficiently. Yeah, I mean, what we're finding is that organizations who choose to integrate either agents or multiple agents into existing processes find higher adoption within their teams. Uh, nice. It's simply it's because if you try to force upon someone else a new way of doing something, mm -hmm. they their initial reaction is like, why? Why am I doing this? What am I, right? Versus mm -hmm. if you say, hey, this is your existing process. Let's just make it better. Yeah. They're more likely to say, oh, okay, I'll try that. Hey, I'll give you a couple hours back on your invoicing end of week, end of month routine, and you do nothing except like click a button. I'll sign me up. I'm lazy. I don't yeah. want to go do that. So in the spirit of experimentation, any any parting words to the audience here? What do you want to go check out? Yeah, I think um, I meet a lot of people who are paralyzed by indecision. Mm -hmm. There's so many new technologies coming out even just today. Yeah. And it's it's actually a lot easier to try things and to pivot when needed than okay. you would really expect. So I would I would my parting sort of mm -hmm. advice is just get started. Awesome. Just try it out. Tinker and it's okay. It's not gonna be perfect and that's all right. Just try it. You will iterate on it. It will get better. And there's partners like us who can help to make it Tra efficient. Travis, always a pleasure to talk shop with you. Yeah. Folks, stay tuned. we got another great session coming up right behind us. You won't want to go anywhere because I know I won't be. Thank you so much.